Hi everybody, welcome back to my Cream Shakti channel where we help you heal yourself. Today we're gonna talk about ginger. Oh my gosh, even just the smell. It's known as the ultimate healer. It has been mentioned throughout civilizations. Even Shakespeare wrote about it in his writings. In other civilizations as well, they considered it sacred, coming from knowledge from a higher power because it is known as a sattvic urban spice. That means it promotes peace, tranquility, and harmony within ourselves. Ginger is a big player in how our deep stomach fire, our jatha agni works. It helps stoke that fire so it can burn up the ama, which is all these toxins that can build up in our body, which causes imbalances and uncomfortability. It's really great that it helps with our digestion because it helps things move along. So for instance, if you have eaten something heavy or something like we most likely do in the holiday season, we have a lot of heavy foods at once. You might feel gassy, bloated, like it's not moving through. A cup of ginger tea will take you a long way. When our digestion works better, so does our immunity. So ginger actually helps with our immune system and it's really great for lung health. It helps with the vata and the kapha in those regions, making it so that the lungs move better, which is what the vata does, and helps remove mucus, which can be built up kapha in the lung area. Because ginger is so great for the lungs, it's also really great for asthma. So if you take this ginger and you crush it up and you make a nice tea out of it, it will help with the contraction and body ache that can come along with an asthma attack. Ginger is also really great if you have a chronic cough. So that means that it's been ongoing for a while. You wanna take ginger juice and mix it with warm milk that's been boiled on the stove top and you wanna have it for one month. However, because you've had a chronic cough, it's really great to see an Ayurvedic practitioner like me because there are other things that could be going on and the dietary changes need to be made as well to make sure that the root causes aren't continuously coming in while you're using this treatment. Ginger is really good for joint health and pain. So if you make this into a paste, you can apply it on the joints to help alleviate that. It's also really good for headaches. So if you take dry ginger as well, you make a paste out of it, you apply it on your forehead, let it dry up for about 15 minutes and remove it. It will also help alleviate that pressure that you're feeling. A small tidbit too, you can take some fresh ginger, mix it with some fresh lemon water and one teaspoon of honey and drink that for hangovers. Before I say the last few things that ginger is good for, please like and subscribe down low. I really appreciate it. it helps spread all this delicious goodness across the internet. So fresh ginger juice is really good if you instill it in your ears for earaches. It helps with that inflammation, calms down that pain. Another great thing that ginger is great for is chemotherapy induced nausea. It really harmonizes the digestive system and allows the inflammation and bloating to go down. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I hope you learned something new and have a great holiday season.